Okay, so thanks a lot for having us here today. I can confirm that uh, we're having a lot of fun with Chess, and uh, for Tado, congrats to this uh, great partner. Um, it's nice to see that there are players with uh, deep pockets that are invested in or investing into this innovative field. Um, I am Niels Aldag, co-founder and CFO of Sunfire. I've been here a few times. Thanks a lot, Jan, for having us each year again and again. Um, today, I will just give a quick update on uh, where we stand, because we have raised our uh, Series C round of fun financing in November 2015. Um, but we want to keep you updated, and for all the corporates who are here, we're looking for partnerships in the different areas that we're dealing with. Um, or maybe one slide back. Um, what I want to talk about today is give you a quick overview on where Sunfire positions itself in the energy system globally. The second thing is I'm going to explain what we are doing in terms of our product and technology, where we're standing with our uh, current projects, and uh, then a few numbers on the company um, that uh, have developed since last year. So um, if we look at, at the energy system today and at the transition towards 100% renewable energy, uh, most of the time when we speak about renewable energy, we think of technologies that are located in the field of electricity. Um, that's electricity generation with wind and sun, it's smart meters, it's uh, efficient transport of electricity. Um, but what we forget um, very often is that there is much more than electricity. And as much as I like the picture that you see behind me, windmills producing clean electrons that we use in our households, in our industries, maybe also in um, electric cars like the Tesla Model S, um, electricity is only a quarter of the entire energy that we consume. And um, therefore, it's worth looking at um, the other uh, areas of energy, and Sunfire is really helping to bring renewable energy everywhere into our life. Um, a quick numbers on the German market and the uh, energy use. What you see here is, in terms of electricity use, we're at 500 terawatt hours, roughly, um, of which 30% in Germany come from renewables, which is a huge achievement. In the markets of fuels and gases that are going to mobility, but also to industry, to industrial pr uh, products, to chemical products, um, we are kind of limited with our solutions. Um, the basic reason for this is that we're using biofuels or biogas to bring renewable energy to those sectors, but bio-based technologies are always limited in their capacity. So we really need solutions uh, to, to also bring renewable energy into those areas. And Sunfire is basically the bridge between the electricity market, um, especially when there is oversupply from sun and wind, to transport those clean electrons into the markets of gases and fuels, and to supplement um, the, the electricity market when wind and sun are not blowing by converting gases or fuels with a very high efficiency back into electricity. So we're really the bridge in between those markets. How are we doing this technically? We are developing high temperature or solid oxide fuel cells and electrolyzers. I apologize for the complicated name. It's horrible. We'll, we'll have to brand it one day. Um, but right now, it's still the solid oxide fuel cell and electrolysis. Um, the electrolyzer is turning, elect simply speaking, electricity with an efficiency of 85% into hydrogen. And hydrogen can then be used as a molecule in different industries, but also in combination with carbon dioxide to produce syngas and potentially also higher value hydrocarbons um, that can be turned into liquid fuels or plastics, foam, whatever you produce from crude oil today all renewably, of course. Um, the fuel cell does exactly the opposite, turns a gas or a fuel uh, into electricity and heat very efficiently. And um, the benefit here is that, uh, A, you can use cl cleaner fuels like natural gas, and the efficiency is so high uh, that you significantly reduce the, the, the fossil energy input to produce your electrons and your heat. Um, we are focusing on four application areas, and trust me, you could do dozens of other things with this conversion unit, but we're focusing on four areas. Heat and power for households, power for commercial buildings, power for remote locations, and fuels and gases for mobility and industry. And in terms of revenues, 50% come from the electrolysis side, and 50% comes from the fuel cell side. Now, um, 
despite the fact that we deal with very different um, applications, at the core of what we sell, we always have our power core. And it's bidirectional, so an electrolysis or a fuel cell power core always looks the same and actually functions in both directions. Um, this is our most developed product. It's a heat and power system that provides the entire heat that you need in a single family household, plus your base load electricity demand. I've talked a lot about it here, so I won't uh, speak much more about it. What's interesting is that we're currently moving from the innovative division at our partner, Weiland, to the commercial division, uh, so that we will be able to commercialize this product within the next 12 months. Um, reliable off-grid power I won't talk about because I've mentioned it before and it would take up too much time. This one is actually really interesting and one of my favorite projects. Last year I was showing a picture of eight guys from our um, uh, eight engineers, the project team that was working with Boeing on developing a reversible electrolysis. And less than 12 months from last time when I told this story and could only show the people who were working on it, we have developed the product. We have um, started operating it in Los Angeles together with Boeing. And what this system does is it converts electricity from sun into hydrogen, which is stored in those storage tubes in the white container. And hours later or days later, you can reconvert the hydrogen with this system into electricity. And you only use one closed system. It's not an electrolysis and a fuel cell, it's one unit which significantly reduces the capex. And Boeing is going to try to roll out this uh, product in uh, microgrids and island applications. This one is one of our new um, developments. Together with Flachstahl, or for Flachstahl Salzgitter, we will uh, build an electrolysis that converts um, uh, the electricity from, uh, wind, um, from windmills into hydrogen. And the hydrogen um, is then replacing hydrogen that today is being produced from natural gas. So basically, we're reducing the fossil input, replace it by renewable hydrogen. In this demonstration project, we will replace roughly a tenth of the hydrogen requirement. Um, and we are balancing um, their internal electricity grid by adding a flexible load into their, uh, pr into their processes. And actually, what's really interesting is that for this hydrogen molecule, so power to hydrogen and the reversible system, there is a multitude of applications where today we are producing the molecule in, in a fossil way, and then we add significant costs by transporting the molecule to the customers, storing it there, and, um, and, and there are niches where uh, this system can be installed and, and create nice business cases already today. Um, so, so that's uh, a niche. Uh, way to, to develop power to X, power to hydrogen in this case. And the project we're talking uh, to with Chess would be a similar project where we convert electricity into hydrogen for refineries or the gas grid. Um, just some final key facts on Sunfire. We're 90 employees with skills in ceramics, stack and system production, um, engineering, uh, synthesis processes, and many more. We have a very, very nice group of investors with our French investors that have been with us for a few years now and also Chess uh, who have joined, plus uh, the, the entrepreneurship network where we grouped private people who invested in our company. Uh, we have 43 patent families covering all the stuff we do. Uh, we were an EcoSummit Silver Award winner in 2014 and 15. We are a Cleantech 100 company two years in a row and the only fuel cell and electrolysis company on this uh, list, on this global list. Uh, beginning of 2016, we have been named by Fast Company. We have been named one of the most innovative companies of 2016 alongside with Tesla and Toyota, um, which was a nice recognition too. And um, we are increasing uh, year by year in terms of revenues with global and, and already partially commercial revenues in a multitude of different markets, which I would love to talk about. And I finish with this picture. My colleagues will kill me for showing it, but I don't care. Uh, it shows that we're having fun. <laughs> Thanks a lot.